I live in New York City, which is a place with lots of buildings and not lots of nature. Most of the nature has been replaced by buildings and what's left is mostly fake nature, like trees inside little boxes and parks designed by the same people who made the buildings. New York is great for a lot of things. Nature is not one of them. Van life is a romantic term that describes the practice of camping out in your vehicle. Van life makes many promises. The central promise is that it affords you lots of freedom. Freedom to be wherever you want, to live wherever your heart desires, often in naturally beautiful settings. Van life is not recommended in New York City. Kinda got matching hats on now, should I change? No, it's perfect. Right. You ready to rock and roll? I'm almost there. Why is it so dirty on the ground all of a sudden? What are you talking about? It's all wet. What did you do? I don't know. What are you doing? Someone peed on the floor over here. Some homeless <laughs> dude. I think it's spritz coming down the back of our- Why are you stepping in the pee? Unbelievable. So you're saying it's pee on the ground? I don't know what it is. And... These are some photographs I took in Yosemite National Park. Yosemite is in California. California has a great number of places where the buildings haven't replaced nature. I think that this is the biggest differentiator between these two places. Wow. This is also the reason why California is very suitable to van life. There are lots of nature places. This is my friend Mac. He lives in California. He invited me on this van trip. He's also a decent driver. Knowing how to drive is a pretty important aspect of van life maybe the most important. This is Big Sur. It's a place on the coast, sort of in the middle of California. It's very pretty here and a great place to take photos. This is where Mac's friends got engaged. Very romantic. Growing up, I thought of California as a warm place, like mostly beaches and stuff. I was surprised to learn that it has lots of cold places and mountains as well. This makes it great for skiing. You can drive from Big Sur to the mountains around Lake Tahoe in about five hours. This is van life at its finest. All right, let's send it. <laughs> Skiing is a compromise between nature and man. Nature being the mountains and the snow, man being the skis and poles and chairlifts we use to squeeze an extra thrill out of it all. Look at the view of the lake from the top of the mountain. Pretty insane, dude. Reflections from this trip. All of these things are good. Nature is good, it's beautiful, and potentially even magical. But buildings are also good, and so is New York City. Going skiing is good, and so is going to the beach, and so is jumping in the river by the side of the road. The nice thing about California is that you can try all of these different things relatively easily. The van also facilitates this. Life is a series of experiences, one after the next. Some things you experience are natural, and some things are made by people, and some things are a combination of the two, like parking your van by the beach and watching the sunset. At the end of the day, experiences are good. Life is good.